Welcome back. Time now for Manage Your Expectations, presented by Arcos. As we welcome back to the show, Lou Stagner of Arcos. Lou, good to see you now. For this week's segment, I know you've reached out to your very strong Twitter following. Over 82,000 followers, by the way. Very impressive, because these are the most commonly asked questions that amateur players want to know about on-course data. So, let's start with Colin Cameron, who asks, what are the average putts per round for different handicaps? Yeah, thanks, Anna. Uh, this is one of the most common questions we get at Arcos. Average putts per round are, for a scratch player, 30.7, for a 10 handicap, 33.5, and for a 20 handicap, 36.2. However, putts per round can be very misleading. I always caution players on this stat. When you hit a lot of greens, you tend to have more putts. When you miss a lot of greens, you tend to have fewer putts. The number of putts you have will be driven by how many greens you hit. That is why using strokes gained is a much better way to analyze your performance. Hmm. Great insight there, Lou. I have a question from Nick who asks the impact of hitting the green when you're in the fairway versus the rough. Yeah, it's a great question. So from 100 yards for a 10 handicap player, they hit the green about 64% of the time from the fairway and 51% from the rough. So from the same distance, most amateurs will hit the green about 10% to 15% less from the rough than they do from the fairway. And that equates to about a tenth of a shot better scoring from the fairway than from the rough. Okay, good stuff. Right, so Lou, our next question comes from David. He wants to know, what percentage of shots come up short versus long for amateurs? Good question. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a great question, and it's one that, that hurts all of us. So no matter how you look at this one, amateurs miss short, and they miss short a lot. So from 150 yards in the fairway, a 10 handicap will miss more than 10 yards short of the hole about 41% of the time, and they will miss more than 10 yards long only 11% of the time. Arcos does an excellent job at showing players how far they really hit their clubs, Knowing your distances and being able to pick the right club is going to help you lower your scores. All right, Lou, our next question is from Danny, who says the following. My son is in Special Olympics and has to pass a skills test to qualify for a tournament. One test is a chip from 14 meters, about equal to 15 yards. How often would a 15 handicap chip within three meters, say 10 feet or so, or six meters, say 20 feet or so? Yeah, good question. So from 15 yards in the rough with a lot of green to work with, and that's an important uh, caveat here, a 15 handicap will get it inside 10 feet about 38% of the time and inside 20 feet about 68% of the time. And we want to wish your, your son best of luck, Danny. Ah, that's nice. Okay, another question we've got for you, Lou. Um, this one comes from Ryan, who asks, what does success from 100 yards look like for a 15 handicapper? That's something that pretty much applies to the two of us on this desk. Yeah, and this is a question we get all the time, and this is an area where many players are expecting far too much from their game. From 100 yards in the fairway, I'm going to talk about a five handicap. They're going to average 3.18 strokes from 100 yards in the fairway. So getting down in three shots from 100 yards is a very solid result for every amateur. I see far too many that beat themselves up if they don't make birdie in that situation. Getting down in three is great. Pat yourself on the back. Oh, that makes me feel better too. I missed seven at Pebble on Sunday. 52 Don't degree think about wedge. It. Move on. Okay. Move on. Move on. Move okay. On. Yeah. All right. Listen, Larry wants to know where does a 10 handicap gain the most strokes? Does that be from the tee or around or on the greens? You know, this is so, this is so player dependent. Uh, for example, some 10 handicaps are going to putt like a scratch player and some 10 handicaps will putt like a 20 handicap. This is why it's so important to use a tool like Arcos to track your stats. Knowing what your performance is for each part of your game will enable you to understand where you are strong and where you are weak. And that will allow you to effectively focus your practice time so you can improve quicker. OK, Lou, you cannot underestimate the power of data in this mm. game. We really appreciate your insight and uh, hopefully it may help us as well as the viewers at home. So thank you as always. Thank you. We'll see you soon. All right. Good stuff from Lou. Time